Okay, now that we have downloaded iTunes, um, this is what pops up. If you do this Let's Get Started, you can register your iPod and set up your account. You go ahead and click Continue and you enter all in of your personal information. If you are planning to purchase songs from iTunes, you want to go ahead and enter a credit card or debit card information in there. Um, you don't have to. There are other ways to get songs onto your iPod other than buying them through iTunes. But um, I know that I purchase a few songs on iTunes, so it's not bad to put your information on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click register later, but you can go ahead and enter all that information. Okay, so this is the main page for your iPod, and this is how you can configure everything. And um, all these check boxes, I mean, if you read through them, they're very self-explanatory. I'm not going to run through those. Um, the main thing I want to show you how to do is to create a playlist and upload that pay playlist onto your iPod. So this plus sign down in the bottom left corner, go ahead and click on that, and it's untitled. So I'm going to put um, soundtrack tunes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the one, the playlist I already have created called Soundtracks, and let's say I like the first, maybe the first 10 songs. I want all those songs on there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click and keep holding it as you drag and move it into your new playlist that we just created called Soundtrack Tunes. So now you can see all the songs that we just moved, they're all in here. So now what I'm going to do so I'm going to go back to my iPod by clicking WebJ's iPod. And I want to go into music because that's what I selected. Now we have these options right here. Sync music is what we want to do. That's the way that you transfer music onto your iPod. And you can select all songs and playlists. Or you can go into the ones, just the ones you want. And I only want to select the playlist that I just created called Soundtrack Tunes. So I'm going to select that and deselect the other one and now I'm going to go ahead and click apply and that is going to sync the songs onto my iPod as you see at the top it says syncing iPod do not disconnect so it's very crucial that you follow those directions make sure you don't disconnect your iPod during this time and usually this doesn't take very long so we'll just wait okay iPod sync is complete so I'm going to go ahead and leave my iPod plugged in because it needs to charge a little bit. If it was already charged, I wouldn't have to worry about that. So I could just go ahead, disconnect it, and listen to that Soundtrack Tunes playlist that I created. Um, when you do eject your iPod, make sure that you click over here on the left side. There's an eject button. It is very, 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 very important that you click that before you disconnect because you can destroy a bunch of the files and you can mess up a lot of the configuration of the iPod if you don't. So make sure you click the eject button. And that is basically one way that you can download music onto your iPod. You can get music from a CD and move it into a playlist and then upload that playlist onto your iPod.